Hey yo, just editing the pod right now. This one is short and sweet, but I make some good points and I hope it's still just as entertaining as that first one. Um, I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day. I surprised my wife with a little thing of flowers, cute little monkey on the front and a, a balloon and we had a pizza and kicked back, had a good time, gave the gave the little nebula. Um, uh, we have like this treat um, little map thing game that she has to sniff around and find all the treats we gave her that and uh it was cute um i also apologize for my voice sometimes throughout this uh i sound a little out of breath and nervous uh but it's still good it's still good um thanks for listening and i gotta do some cleanup and and cut my hair i do self-cutting of my own hair um anyways enjoy and of course don't forget about self-love that is very important. Glimpses of what it's like. All these people expecting something more than I can give. I'm a normal human. I know what emotions feel like. Although sometimes I'm numb, so I can continue to live. I'm not famous, no. I'm not famous. Sometimes it feels like it, though. I'm not famous, no. I'm not famous. Sometimes I do wonder what it's like, though. I'm a young blonde rock star with dreams of selling out arenas. I've been working on myself with no time. Hello for and welcome to the JBP podcast. Nah, okay. How's everybody doing? I wanted to start off a little, a little quiet and weird there and suspicious, but um, welcome back to another podcast number two. Uh, thank you for all the support on the first one. I've heard great feedback and it's very inspiring and motivating to keep on going and so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm thinking right now sort of on a weekly basis like each wednesday uh that would that seems to be how it's rolling and i just record it in the night um after i sleep through the day since we're on that night shift and uh i tend to have tuesday nights off and so i just wake up do a little thing and then just get to recording and let it fly and uh that way i can have it uploaded by Wednesday morning when everyone's waking up and, and, uh, it can be out and going. Um, so yeah, number two, I wanted to, uh, um, also plug some more actual names and stuff. So if you find this podcast before my actual music or whatever, uh, you can actually find what I'm talking about. And so my latest album, if you just search up JB highest heights everywhere, it should pop right up. Um, YouTube, look for my channel, Johnny Boy Productions. That'll have everything there with the music videos and all my past music for YouTube and Spotify. Um, same thing, JB, the highest heights, and the album should pop right up. Although with all my older stuff, if you go, if you're trying to look for my older music um, to kind of catch up, um, Spotify like separated it. My so I have like two artist pages going on. I did compile a playlist of like a uh, my collection, so kind of a summary of my whole come up from my first single till now. And if you go to the very top of that playlist, the come up song, and then go to my that artist page from that song, it'll take you back to my first stuff. Um, and that's got my first, I think, three albums between glory to god and then save me for myself i believe was the last album on that one and then it separated to another one which is what highest heights is on for that page anyways jb highest heights search that up you'll find it um <clears throat> so for this one i wanted to break down some more of my creative process which there might not be much to this because i keep it simple um But I just, for myself, I see a lot of people talking about how you should be improving yourself, working on it every day, yada, yada, fill in the blank. Um, Especially for rappers, you hear that a lot, like you need to work on, need to be constantly improving your pen game and, uh, and always like freestyling over beats or whatever. Um, For me though, doesn't work like that. That's not how I operate. And that's also not what I'm going for. I'm going to just create and that's what I enjoy the most. I'm not trying to like put myself as the best rapper and uh, compete against all these people. No, um, I'm just doing it for fun. And so, uh, and whatever success comes from that. Cool. Great. Awesome. So for me, 
I like to just run off of when I'm simply inspired. And so like for the highest heights project, um, it was, I would go months, um, after getting married and moving here and stuff, I'd go months without touching anything. I mean, maybe I might make a beat here or there, or if somebody needed a beat, I'd do it. Um, other than that, I was not working on any albums, projects, nothing. Um, I was just making as I wanted to. A couple songs came out of that, and then I finally got heavily, he- <laughs> heavily inspired um, for the album and uh, knocked it out in about a week just because I had um, time at work to do it, um, keeping up my pace still there. But I would come up with the song title and the lyrics and just write it from there and then I'd come home and try and make up some beats and and find the melodies that I was wanting and just kind of letting my creative juices um flow from that and out came an album and so for those of you out there creating as well I would say definitely just let your inspiration take you and um create when you want and don't force anything you can definitely work on it and try and push yourself for sure that does help as well um but find a balance to where you're also letting it go and letting it do its thing because i've uh heard a lot as of where people are forcing it and it's nothing's nothing's really going right and you can tell it doesn't seem like them it doesn't have their special touch or something like that uh And it doesn't feel like it's from the heart. It just feels like it's forced and you're trying to please people, please the expectations, force something out. And um, not cool, (laughs) I guess. Uh, So like a fine example is with Paramore. I'm sure uh, there's plenty of fans of Paramore. They're a huge band and they've been out for a long time. But they just put out an album and it's been like five and a half years Okay. So, um, and like NF, he's taking several years. Like, I think it's also been about five years since he's put out, um, anything, uh, since this, oh no, search and then clouds. What was that? 2020. So a few years. Um, but he's, he's just developing his craft, letting the inspiration take him. And, um, you know, just, that's what I wanted to put out is don't feel over pressured to create anything. If you want to do it, go for it uh and and it'll come and it'll come from your heart and it'll be awesome um which was a second thing i wanted to get into and this might get a little triggering i don't want to don't want to be totally rude about it but i have heard and seen many people saying they want to do things and then not um but i want to tell you please do it go do it whether it's um gym or creating music or drawing or going somewhere moving somewhere like manifest it put your action to it and do it don't wait on anybody else because like i didn't i didn't wait on anybody else i sat down and figured this out many years back um and i started with very cheap equipment i just like uh producing wise i just had a macbook air and i had that for school and i flipped that open opened up garage band which was free and just started hacking away and yeah it sounded like crap at first i mean uh oh that got a little loud um sure it sounded like crap but we all start somewhere and uh you can actually i think if you look up on soundcloud find my thing on there uh which if you look up jb highest heights i'm sure you can find the profile that way um it's got a picture, I think, of the album cover, and then it's got like nature in the background with my highest heights thing, um, sort of promoted there. But it, you, if you go all the way back there, I believe I still have my a bunch of my first beats, um, and I believe the very first one is literally called Beat Zero Zero Four, and you can go back and listen to that, and if you want to dig back and stuff, and you can hear um, how. I started basically. Um, and so I had started with cheap equipment, just a laptop headphones, like the Apple headphones, I believe, and just started going away, going at it. 
Uh, and then slowly over time, I started seeing what else I needed and to improve it. And that's how I have my stuff now. Audio interface, uh, monitor speakers, an actual mic, uh, which I started with the USB mic at first. L cheapy little, I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, sounds very tinny, not full at all. Not like this one. But um, yeah, I started with all that. So whatever you need to do to just kick it going um and then and you'll go from there and you'll find out what you need but you gotta start and if you're saying you're gonna please do it that's what i wanted to that's what i wanted to get out there um and oh another point i see here if it uh if it feels right to you too that's also what i want to say if it feels right to you then that's part of the going for it thing if you feel it in your spirit and your gut that like you should do it or should try, um, do it. And like whoever, if anybody out there knows, uh, the artist, Mike, uh, Mike stud, formerly known, uh, he, he was, he was formerly known as Mike stud. I wanted to rephrase that. Sorry. Uh, and, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Oh, he was originally, uh, an athlete like in college and stuff. He was playing baseball and thought he was going to make it to the major leagues and that was going to be his profession. But then he got injured. I don't remember exactly what injury, but it took him out. And so he had, after that, he had like no musical experience, just like me, no anything towards it. Um, no theory, music theory, didn't know how to play anything, didn't know how to rap. Uh, but he felt something stirring there and went for it which was definitely out of his, out of his ballpark <laughs> little pun. I just realized, okay, I'm funny. Um, but he felt something and went for it. And now he's amazing, an amazing artist. And he's on a really good life path and journey. Uh, so yeah. Um, I think that's really all I have to say about that. This one definitely might be shorter of a pod. Uh, I hope this is still as entertaining um, some more insight on my, my process here. Um, and like, even for this podcast, I'm not trying not to overthink it too much. And just, I'm letting these words flow. I'm almost getting, like I've heard Mike do actually, you just get into this flow and this wave and you're not really thinking about what you're doing. You're just letting it go. Right. And letting it fly. Um, and so, yeah, that's, uh, I hope that all made some sense and entertaining and, uh, inspiring for you to go out there and go get it, go do it. Even if it's just a little side project. Uh, so I also want to plug some more of my actual social media for those that don't know of that. So on Instagram, it is at Johnny boy, P R O. So J O N N Y B O I P P R O D underscore. Johnny boy, P R O D underscore it's Instagram, uh, John Westra on Facebook, Westra underscore John is my Snapchat, uh, at Johnny boy underscore P R O D is Twitter. Um, yeah. If you want to go find some of my socials and look through all that, feel free to, if you want to reach out, feel free to all that. Um, thank you again for listening to this one. I hope you have a wonderful day. And uh, I will. I'll catch you on the next one, I believe. Yeah. Um, later, fam. Keep streaming the stuff. Love y'all. I'm a normal human. I know what emotions feel like. Although sometimes I'm numb, so I can continue to live. I'm not famous. No, I'm not famous. Sometimes it feels like it, though. I'm not famous. No, I'm not famous. Sometimes I do wonder what it's like.